Don't be afraid. Death is simply another stage of our life. Dragon Ball is a franchise that holds an unbelievable amount of love from not only myself, but countless others. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, all the games and movies and everything else related has continuously helped me throughout my life. Now I could go crazy in depth about the story, the characters, or the fight scenes, but instead I'm going to try to share some of my own personal experiences and some of my own perspectives with this franchise. In order for us to do this, we're going to have to take it back. Back to a simpler time in my life, you know, some pancakes in the kitchen type beat. It's 2004, 2005, and I'm about 4 or 5 at this time, and you know, these are the core years of my childhood. At this time in my life, my older brothers introduced me to Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. This game was like opening up Pandora's box, unveiling to me this incredible world of badassery that I would never forget. I remember in preschool, I ran around pretending to be Goku and I would go through all of his transformations. And for probably all the reasons I still love the show today, Little Me knew that this show was an absolute hit. Now, my brothers are 10 and 15 years older than me, so I looked up to them. I idolized them and wanted to be cool just like them. I also had a little brother and a little sister to share this experience of learning everything about the show with. And my mom didn't really want us watching it like that because of the blood and the violence and shit, but, you know, that's just mom stuff. But I think that that played a part in making the whole show even cooler. As a kid, I only really got to see it when I got to peek into my brother's room and saw it on his TV or when my mom and dad were cool with us playing the game with our older brothers. Now fast forward a decade, one of my older brothers passed away. This you know of course happened to be a pretty difficult time for me, but with that came a sort of beautiful existential experience. My brothers and I all shared a love for this franchise. My siblings and I all still share that love, and it continues to give us something to relate about and discuss no matter the age or lifestyle differences. And now, almost a decade past his death, every time I watch or play anything Dragon Ball, it takes me back. Back to being four or five years old, sitting in my brother's room getting my ass beat on Budokai 3. No matter what's going on in my life, through all the changes with work and school and everything, I can always find comfort within Dragon Ball. It's the shared love and appreciation for the inspirational story, awesome transformations, badass fights, beautiful animation, and everything else this franchise has to offer that has built bonds with not only my brothers, but multiple friends of mine. There's been times in my life that a friendship started simply because we both loved Dragon Ball. While writing this script, I started thinking about the moon, and how in the show it holds a lot of significance, and at the same time, it does for me too. The night of my brother's funeral, I remember looking up at the moon, and it was the largest, craziest looking moon I've ever seen in my life. And ever since then, really every time I look up at the moon, I think of him. And it's not like I see him as the moon or anything like that, but more as a constant reminder of him. A constant reminder that there's always something to look up to. I mean, I don't know, that's kind of cheesy, I know. But that's what these shows do. They begin you in your feels. I mean, Dragon Ball doesn't ever make me feel sad. But I'm not gonna lie, some shows like My Hero or Naruto do be making a young man have to hold back some tears. Like when the village lifted Naruto up after beating Pain, or every time Deku clutches his chest, crying while one of the most inspiring speeches is ever being told right in front of him. Yeah, that shit's beautiful. That's really a huge reason why I love a lot of anime. At the end of the day, a lot of them have core messaging about hard work, never giving up, breaking limits, friendship and family, and just so much beauty made into a cinematic artwork. Now getting back on track, there's a lot of things I wish my brother could have seen. Like all of Dragon Ball Super, the Battle of Gods, Resurrection F, Broly and superhero movies. I wish I could tell you about all the amazing things that have happened with this franchise. But you know, that's, that's just gonna have to wait. Dragon Ball has not only helped our brotherly love transcend beyond life itself, but also holds an unbelievable amount of love from so many others. Now maybe, with just a little shared perspective, we can all find something that gives us that real and transcending love. <laughs>